Imagine what the Bible says, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. You know what perishing means? Perishing is when you have something that's trash and you throw it in the garbage. You open up the refrigerator and you find out that that milk is too old, it's perishable, and you dump it out. And without Jesus Christ, God's going to throw you out. And God's incinerator is a place called hell. You see, the, there are people who think everybody goes to heaven. Not everybody goes to heaven when the Bible says broad is the way that leads to destruction and many look there at. Many will go the broad way to destruction of hell and the lake of fire. And yet straight is the gate that leads to life and few be there that find it. Listen, not everybody goes to heaven, but not everybody goes to hell. And yet the majority and the mass of people will go into a place called hell. And there be the few that will go to a place to heaven and the few that get to heaven is they got to heaven by Jesus Christ alone. No one's going to get to heaven and say, I was a Baptist. I was baptized. I did good. I was smarter than you. I read the Bible more than you. That's how we, that's, how, that's not how we get to heaven. In order to get to heaven, we get to heaven by the precious blood without spot, without sin of Jesus Christ. There is no need of going to heaven outside the finished work of Jesus. And the finished work of Jesus is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That is salvation. The salvation of God through Jesus Christ are you able to get to heaven through Jesus Christ alone? You see, when we get to heaven, it ain't how great I have been. It's how great God has been. And not only has been, but how great God is. And God is wonderfully, excellently great. He's the Almighty. He's the great I am. And the only thing I am is I am not worthy of his love. I am not worthy of his care. For so simple is that Jesus Christ saves. And, you haven't listened and he to the saves a song, wicked sir. sinner such as I am. The fact is that anybody can be saved if they love. put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ I did that, but you don't seem to the care. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin. 
The what Lamb of God would take away the penis? sin of the you world. Got penis problems. So simple that Jesus, only that Jesus saved. That great is the love of God. Great is the salvation of God. Great is the sacrifice of God that he cleanses us all from sin and the shame of sin and the penalty of sin. I am not going to hell because I have put my faith and trust in Jesus. I'm not going to say, uh, I'm going to heaven because of church. No, 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 no. Church, I grow. Church is not salvation. Simple. Church is a place for Christians to go. It's not a place for the lost. The Our market rules change. This is a new copy. I'm going to have to hand that to your lawyers to hand to my lawyer now. Okay. I'm not told to talk to you guys anymore, lawyers. Because you can't, you can't change the rules when, when your rules are against the Constitution. And I got, I got a piece of paper here that says I can do what I'm doing. So, your lawyers talk to my lawyer. So simple that Jesus Christ can save your soul.